हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लर्न विद निखिल सो यर वी हैव टेकन एन अनदर सम ऑन ऑक्सिलरी व्यूज सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव बीन गिवन द इनकम्प्लीट फ्रंट व्यू द टॉप व्यू एंड द ऑक्सिलरी व्यू सो वी हैव टू ड्रॉ द कंप्लीट फ्रंट व्यू एंड द गिवन टॉप व्यू एंड द ऑक्सिलरी व्यू सो फर्स्ट वी विल ड्रॉ अ स्ट्रेट हॉरिजोंटल लाइन विच विल सेपरेट द टॉप एंड द फ्रंट व्यू so as you can see the total distance in the top view is 15 plus 85 so first we are drawing the top view on this line on the bottom side so first i am leaving a space of 15 mm then drawing a dark line of 85 mm so this is 85 mm as you can see the 15 has a slant line so first we have drawn a line of 85 mm dark and marked a point of 15 mm now from here i am drawing a perpendicular line to the line drawn earlier drawing a light line then you have a gap of 15 mm after that 30 mm and again a gap of 15 mm drawing a line parallel to this line from here So here also you have a gap of fifteen millimeters, same. So marking a point. Now drawing slant line intersecting these two points. Here also intersecting these two points. Now as you can see, you have a oval shape at the center. The oval shape dimension is given. so for drawing that first we will mark the center of this line we'll draw the center line here that is the big line gap small line gap big line drawing here the center line then you can see the center of the two semicircles is placed at a distance of 20 mm so from here i'm marking a point of 20 mm then again a second center of the semicircle at a distance of 20 mm from here now using compass given the radius of 12 mm so on compass taking the radius of 12 mm we'll draw this two semicircles from this center draw the semicircle now keeping the pointer on the other center and drawing the semicircle now joining the edges of the semicircle so with this we got this oval shape doing the same at the bottom side also with this the oval shape is drawn now marking the center point of the semicircle again with the same line big gap small line gap big line on both the center points now next you can see we have this slant line now the distance of the line given is 60 mm so keeping with the pointer like this on the scale and measuring 60 mm you can use the compass also to cut an arc on the bottom line with distance of 60 mm on the compass or you can do the way i have done it joining this so this is how we have drawn now the auxiliary view is perpendicular to this slant line so to draw the auxiliary view we will draw the perpendicular line that is 90 degree line from this point so we'll take this as the reference perpendicular line we'll draw it lightly same we will do it over here also now the distance is not given so i am assuming it as 15 mm so if given in the question 1 mm or 15 mm do it accordingly here it is not given so i am assuming it joining this 
and joining this part so this is the top view of the auxiliary view you can see this is how it is here the circle is drawn so for drawing the auxiliary view this is the base of the auxiliary the distance is used randomly so drawing this part here the distance given is 30 30 30 but it is not 30 the center is 30 and the other two parts are 15 and 15 now drawing this line this line I'm taking as 50 millimeters till the center from the bottom from here I am considering distance of 50 millimeter till the center of the circle drawing the center line as we were to draw the circle now the circle diameter given is 40 millimeter so as diameter is 40 radius as 20 millimeter on the compass so this point will be 50 millimeter from the bottom drawing the circle next I'm just extending now this line a bit further again the dimension is not given exactly so I'm just extending till this point just assumed a point and extended same over here as I mentioned earlier first I'll draw a line at the top so this distance also I have assumed marking the center line now this distance is 30 millimeter so the remaining will be obviously 15 millimeter now joining this joining this part also so our auxiliary part is done now we are moving towards drawing the front view that is the part which is asked in the question so for drawing that first I will take all the projections upward towards the front view from the top view take all the points projections now to draw with the front view first I'll draw the baseline of the front view which is given in the question itself so drawing this part dark now whatever given in the front view we are drawing this this is 15 millimeter dark line now this projection is dark as given in the question and this distance is 50 millimeters so just marking a point 50 millimeter above as it is given in the question drawing this edge is dark so this is this edge this is behind so this is dotted it is hidden now this edge is also dark it is in front joining this part dark now the semicircle is also hidden in the front view so drawing it dotted this is already given in the question we are just redrawing it now moving towards the main part drawing the view in the front so this circle it is at the thickness it is on both the sides so for drawing the points or locating the points so this side also there is a circle 
as it is a thickness it is totally drilled so to locate the points of the circle first we will divide the circle into six equal parts you can divide the circle into six eight or twelve equal parts i am considering dividing this into six equal parts naming this as one to six now taking this points projections moving towards the top view first so taking this projection towards the top view on this line and from here also so it is intersecting both the lines now taking this projections upward towards the front view so for before that first marking this point as 6 1 5 1 this intersection over here will be 1 1 4 1 this will be 2 1 3 1 so the circle intersecting here also and it is intersecting at the back side also we'll do that later now taking this points projection upwards towards the front view draw the line slightly and parallel so taking the projections upward from all these points now to locate the circle in the front view it will be an oval shape so i have to take the measurement this distance is 50 so from here taking the distance till 5 so on the same line keeping the pointer on this line marking on the same line this point will be 5 dash same from here the distance till 6 on the same line keeping the pointer over here and marking above this will be 6 dash now from here same this distance till 2 so on the same line keeping the pointer on the line and marking on the same line this will be 2 dash then from here till 3 on the same line keeping the pointer and marking cutting on the same line this will be 3 dash now from here till 4 on the same line cutting this will be 4 dash from here till 1 on the same line cutting this will be 1 dash now have to join all this using the french curve so we'll get an oval shape that is the shape which will be visible from the front view so circle shape seems like a oval in the front view as it is twisted or it is inclined so this is the view in the front view so this is one circle so here also there will be an another circle behind so marking this point similar as we did it earlier but here i'll mark it as 2 2 3 2 and likewise as you can see now taking this projection upwards towards the front view as there will be a circle behind also half of the circle will be hidden i'll show you how to draw it so now the circle is on the left side the another circle with the thickness of 15 mm so we'll just move this points on the left side so this is 4 so 4 dash we have marked on this line we will mark 4 double dash so likewise we will move all the points on the left side so this 1 dash marking on the line this this will be one double dash and likewise move all the points on the left the intersection of the line so three double dash likewise moving all the points on the left side finally last point and this so we have play, moved all the points now this points on the inner will be dark this line will be dark 
and the other lines will be dotted as it is hidden behind so draw this circle dotted as it is hidden behind then joining this dotted and the upper part also dotted so as you can see this circle looks oval shape in the front view of this part also we are naming this a b c d as this part will also be visible in the front view so i am taking the projections this is a dash then b projection i am taking on this lines this will be b dash then the c projection on these two lines this will be c dash and it will intersect on the other side also and finally this will be d dash now same as we did earlier from a dash to a keep the pointer here cut an arc on this line this will be a1 or a dash from here till b and before that take the projections from these points upward so do the part one by one as you will confuse if you draw all the lines at once draw one one part this will be c dash and finally this will be d dash now joining these lines will give us the shape now same we have to do it on the other line also as we did earlier so we have drawn this is a1 so this will be a2 this will be b2 c2 and d2 now likewise take the projections upward or we have to just move this points on the left side so taking this projections upward first and then moving the points on the left side on the projections we have taken just trace the projections properly and mark all the a b c d points marking them as a double dash b double dash c double dash and d double dash so this is d double dash now joining this part dark as this will be visible so dark line here also we get dark line this will be dotted as it is hidden behind this part dark and this also dark so with this we are totally done with our sum just marking the dimensions properly so whatever dimensions are given in the question mark them properly so this is the elevation or the front view this is the plan length or the plan view or the top view and this is the auxiliary view and we are done thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts any queries let me know in the comment section you can also connect with me on instagram